I just got the Linus Tech Tip backpack in and I wanted to give you a review overview of it. But one of the first things that I noticed when I put it on empty immediately was how it felt on my shoulders. So the way it sits, and, and I, I watched the video of Linus's overview, and the way it sits, it, it rests more on your shoulders as opposed to like falling back like a lot of other backpacks do. And even empty or heavy, and I have it pretty heavy right now, it sits pretty well on your back. And what I've done is pretty routinely, I will leave the house with this kit that I have in here right now. And that's one of the reasons why I went with this bag was because it allowed me to carry everything that I needed to carry. So let me go through what I have in this bag. So let's look at the front pack first. So in here, I have a flashlight, I have a Leatherman, I have my little notebook, I have some adapters, and just handy stuff that I need to get to. Um, this opens up all the way, you can see here. Um, you know, buying this bag, I actually, they made a little slot right here for the um, LTT screwdriver, and having this bag actually makes me kind of want to order one of those LTT screwdrivers. We'll see, we'll see. So that's what I have in the front. Uh, there's a spot here for your sunglasses, which I don't currently have my sunglasses in there. On the side here, uh, what I have put in here is basically all of my pens, all of my uh, pencils, some highlighters, um, some memory cards in here. Basically just a small little easily accessible pouch on the side. Now, these two main pouches though, these are really why I bought the bag and I'll show you why. Pretty routinely, I tend to leave the house with one laptop, 14 inch, or 13 inch? 13 inch MacBook Pro. Second laptop, uh, MacBook Air, and a 11 inch, 11 inch iPad Pro. Um, but also, in this back, I have my little calendar journal, I have power cords for laptops, power cords for iPads, I have my not today friend and there's a pretty good size of space back there. So I so much leave the house with three devices like that. Uh, that was honestly one of the big selling features was the fact that they did have three slots back here plus room for power cables and stuff like that. In this main pocket, which they call the um, something of holding, I don't know, the section of holding. This was also one of the main selling features for me. So in Phoenix, in, even in the winter, cold in the morning, cold in the evening, hot during the day. So I have a sweatshirt in there. I have my 40 ounce hydro flask. And this was a big one. Um, I routinely do video work in multiple places. So this is a camera cube that I keep my camera, uh, microphone, my display, and my XLR input for the camera in here. So I can take all my necessary camera gear, slide it in this main pocket, and take that with me. So there is quite a bit that you can actually keep within this bag and the other thing that I love, and I saw Linus mention this, and what I love is the fact that the bag stands on its own. There's nothing I hate more than my bag falling over with all my stuff in it. So the fact that this stands up on its own is fantastic. Um, one of the other reasons that really led me to buy this bag is watching Linus talk about it, he really made 
the bag that he needed for all of his stuff. And, and if you're a software developer like I am, you are carrying stuff around yet. We are more mobile as a field. Um, you might find yourself working all over the place and having something comfortable to be able to take around. And if you're remote and if you have to go into the office or maybe you have to travel for something, there's room in here to make this an overnight bag, a two day, you know, a weekend bag. There really is just a ton of room in this thing. Um, I guess if you want to call it a downside, the only real downside that I see to this is really how big it is. And that's not really a downside necessarily for me because I wanted it this big. That, that was why I bought this bag was because it had room for everything that I'm gonna carry with it. The material itself feels really sturdy, well put together. Uh, the zippers are all really nice. There's a couple of convenient things that they put on here. I don't know if you can see this, but the zippers themselves have these clips on them and one of the things that he said is you can actually clip these together to make it a little harder for people to come up and try to sneakily get stuff out of your bag or unzip your bag. Now, you know, not that that's gonna stop everybody, but uh, there's a lot of nice little touches and you can see that he really lived with this bag and every little annoyance to the point where he was talking about how he put these little things on here because they were filming one day and he needed some place to put a walkie talkie. And he was like, let's just throw some straps on it. And so there you go, you have some straps on it. Uh, you have this for putting it on your luggage. Um, there's a little spot back here where it actually slides into, um, but I left it on here so you could see it. Um, and there are chest straps as well. So, I'm a huge fan of chest straps. If I travel somewhere, not that I'm traveling all the time, but I'm hauling a heavy backpack around or through the airport or whatever, I love having this chest strap here. You know, does it do anything? I don't know, but it makes me feel better when I'm carrying it around. It makes me feel like it helps in some way. Um, but there's a lot of little things like that. You got another carabiner here. You got, it's not really, molding but there's spots to hook stuff on um, there's spots to hook stuff on on the back there's spots to hook stuff on on the straps uh, you can take the chest strap off if you don't want it these little strap adjusters are actually metal so it, it really feels like he made this the way he wanted and I was I was looking at the Peter McKinnon bag which is primarily a camera bag, but the way it's cube system, you can take stuff out. But it was $400 for the cheap one and $600 for the expensive one. And it was just so much money. Um, and you know, he went to a camera bag company or he went to a bag company that was already there. And you know, they gotta make their money, he's gotta make his money. But the nice thing about this is this was 250 and which is uh, about what you pay for a nice bag um but because they build it themselves they have their own shop well they don't build it themselves i mean they they partner with a factory somewhere but because they put it together themselves you save a lot of that middleman cost because it's coming directly to them they're shipping it out and let me tell you so they're in canada i'm in phoenix i ordered this bag on saturday night and it arrived at my house Friday morning. So, you know, that's pretty quick turnaround. The shipping was 20 bucks, which honestly is not that bad, bad for a bag. Um, and for international shipping like that, uh, really not too bad. So I, mean, I haven't had the bag a long time, but I gotta say, I'm really happy with it. And if you need any type of storage whatsoever for what you're carrying, Boy, it, to me, it's a great option. Um, I really feel like it's gonna serve me well. So maybe I'll do a follow-up if anybody cares sometime down the line and give a long-term review, but I'm pretty happy with it.